Hi everyone, this is Alan Sanchez. Today we're going to go over IRS liens. Can I short sell my home with an IRS lien? Yes, you can. Today we're going to meet with Laura Peachy from Stewart Title, and she's going to go over how to handle an IRS lien. See you in a bit. Hi everyone, this is Alan Sanchez, and we're back with Laura Peachy. And she's going to go over IRS liens. Wow, that's scary stuff. Anyway, she has closed some short sales with IRS liens and was able to close them. And she's going to explain that to us what happened. So, Laura, wow, you had some IRS liens on these we short do. sales. Your short mm -hmm. sale is not over if you've got an IRS lien subordinate to any first or second mortgages that you might have on the property. IRS is willing to take a look at the property. You can obtain a certificate of release from the IRS, releasing the property so that you have the ability to sell it. Um, your, your lien is not avoided. It, it, the property is avoided. The lien will be a blanket lien against you personally, but they will release the property so we can close escrow. Um, it's about a 60-day process. The package goes down. They want an appraisal, a HUD. Um, they review everything that we can provide them in the course of an escrow, make their decision, and so far I'm on my second successful one that we will get a certificate of release from the IRS and have a successful short sale closing. Wow, so the buyer and the, the selling agent, they don't have to worry about that. It's the listing agent and the seller. They have to get on the ball Correct. and contact. Now, just do you as, a, as the escrow officer, do you have to contact the IRS? Yes, it's best that we as the escrow holder send a package in because they're going to make communication with one person, the IRS. The sellers will give the IRS an authorization on an IRS 8821 form to speak with us as the escrow holder, and we'll send the package down. And it's, it, it's a nice process. They're very good with communicating back and forth with us any additional items they need, and we they send us this certificate of, of release so that we can record it in conjunction with the property and have that property released. And the reason why they're releasing it, because there's no value in the property. There's no value. We showed them a HUD showing what the pay, actual payoff was. They will want a full payoff statement from the bank to show that. We show what they're going to net on the HUD and, and what's actually owed, and they gladly see that there's a, there's a sort of shortage and no value there in the property. And you see this lien on the prelim once the agent opens escrow, correct? Correct. Once the title search is done, if they have a recorded IRS lien, it will show on the prelim on the title search. Wow, Laura. Thanks for coming in and sharing that. Wow, IRS liens, everyone. Watch out for them. Thank you. You're welcome.